Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Aiden slash just Aiden. I just wanted you guys to see this trombone real fast before I talk about what I'm gonna talk about. Look at this engraving. Man, this is beautiful. Don't worry, this isn't mine. This is my friend's 2B. I um, just got a new neck pipe put on it. I'm had it for him for a second. Let's talk today about preparation. So obviously we need to prepare for things as musicians, we have to practice. Um, Let's talk about the two different kinds of preparation that I can see personally. First of all, we have general preparation, a lot of things. Then we have specific preparation, not very many things. Let's talk about general preparation. Um, this covers a lot of things because um, it's just being prepared for kind of any situation, like just being good at your instrument, kind of like being able to play all the ranges with any dynamic, with any articulation. Uh, being able to read music right away, being able to sight read, um, but being able to sight read with musicianship and play well, um, not just play the notes, um, be flexible in a situation with different players, different settings, don't always play the exact same sound. Um, that's kind of general preparation, just being kind of able to do almost anything in a pinch um, and just kind of being ready to do that right away. Specific preparation is kind of the other way around, right? Um, this is when you work up maybe a smaller amount of stuff to the highest level. Um, for instance, a recital um, or on a, an audition, uh, solo just by itself, maybe it's in a piece or something you're working up, an improvised solo or something that's not improvised, whole second suite on euphonium or something. Um, etudes, you work on those for lessons, you're going to work those up a lot. Um, that's more specific, right? You're narrowing down your focus from just everything in music to um, a few pages of stuff. So let's talk about my examples of of using both of these kinds of preparation. Um, my general examples are uh, I had an audition for the job I have right now where I'm a sub at Disneyland on two different instruments. Um, that was kind of a funny situation. My friend stayed over the night with me because he was going to do the audition and I live a lot closer. And I wasn't planning on doing it at all. I actually said, no, I don't want to audition for that. And I think the night of, he was staying over, we're just hanging out, drinking beers. And, uh, you know, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do this audition on bass drum. I haven't worked up anything. I think I have a piece of music that I kind of practiced a little bit for an army band audition but really never worked up. Um, just kind of played it for fun a few times. And so I took that in and I won that audition. I got the spot. Um, not because I was specifically prepared. I had worked on this this piece of music, it's just a page. It wasn't like super difficult or anything. I had worked on it, but not to the extent where I was like ready to just play it on an audition. It's more that I could just kind of play the instrument well, do the style. Um, I sight rated the audition as well. I did that okay. I didn't do super great. Um, I was kind of flexible. I did change some things that they asked me to change and I got it. Would I rather be more specifically prepared for that? Yes. I would not um, suggest going into stuff like that just completely um, sight unseen. Um, I'm glad I did it, but uh, I'd rather be specifically prepared. Another one is the last two competitions I did. Um, I went to the Leish Festival in December in Germany. And I just got back from the International Women's Brass Conference in uh, Tempe, Arizona. Um, both of which I um, did well in the competition. At the Leish Festival, I advanced to the finals um, of six bass trombones, six or four, I can't remember actually. Whatever, I'm gonna say six, because that makes me look a little worse, which is probably better here. Um, and at the International Women's Brass Conference, I got second place in the bass trombone division for my age group. Um, and for both of these things, I was wildly unprepared. I had, you know, gotten the music um, for the Waste Festival. I knew the piece already, I'd played it before, um, but I had not worked on the excerpts nearly enough, um, and I hadn't played the piece very much for like a year. Or something like that. And then for the Women's Brass Conference, I had just not practiced nearly enough. I had been really busy, which is my excuse, but I just not put in the time on the pieces that I wanted to do. And somehow my, my general preparation of just being kind of good at the instrument um, pulled through and I did pretty well in the competitions. I'm still, I'm not happy about it because I'd rather show up 
just 100% prepared and do really well, maybe a lot better because I had actually specifically prepared on those things. So again, my general preparation pulling through for me, um, doing me well, but not being specifically prepared, kind of holding me back. And I have a couple specific examples. Um, when I auditioned at UCLA, I practiced the complete crap out of everything on the list, um, like to the nth degree. I went over that stuff so many times. Um, and I showed up to the audition and really impressed everybody. Um, I thought that was a really good audition. Uh, some people there thought I did really, really well. They talked to me later like, hey, I wish you had been at the finals for the Space Trombone audition. I, what I think is kind of funny is that I think my preparation actually outpaced my actual playing. The specific part of that um, audition outpaced my general preparation on just trombone in general. So I probably hoodwinked those people into thinking I was actually better than I was. If they had put some more new music in front of me or had me sit with a section, I would not have sounded nearly as good. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. And then I also prepared the crap out of my master's recital at UCLA. Um, I ran this recital, I think, once or twice every day for like a month plus before I did the recital. I was just really, really ready for that. Um, and I think it went pretty well. Um, I don't think I outpaced my general preparation. I think that was, they were kind of even. Um, today I could play the whole thing a lot better just because I'm a better player. But I think for that time, that was about the peak of my playing, which is all I can really ask when I prepare for something. So we have all these examples. I kind of explained what they are. Which one is better to do? Um, ideally, both. You want to be really good at your instrument, a really good musician, be able to read music, and have practiced all the stuff that you need to practice a ton. Um, of course, balancing those things is kind of difficult, um, but you see at the top level, um, the people winning auditions and stuff, they're not winning it because they just practice the crap out of that stuff only. It's because they're also really good at everything, and they've really focused on that stuff. So one thing that I see is that um, specific preparation is kind of rampant in the school setting, all the way from middle school, all the way through college. It kind of stops there because it doesn't really count after that. Um, we see this a lot in school programs. You work on the same three band pieces, four band pieces, whatever it is, for months. You work on them for dozens of rehearsals and your band can play the crap out of them. They sound great. But if you sat down and put just another piece in front of them, the sight reading would probably not go as well. It wouldn't, uh, maybe everyone can read the notes pretty well because they you know they practice sight reading, but could they play as an ensemble the same way? Maybe not. Um, same thing with like solos and stuff for solo and etude, um, people working up uh, recitals in college and stuff. Um, the specific preparation usually outpaces the general preparation. They're just not as good at the instrument as it appears they are. You get this little glimpse of, wow, they're really good at this, and then you realize they can't do everything else. Um, and you can watch this in things like the, um, the Japanese like middle school bands and stuff that play this really hard rep um, repertoire, like memorized all this choreography and stuff. And it's like, yes, they're really good at that because they've put so much work, so much time into this tiny little thing. Um, and if you ask them all to play some other piece or play a chord that's not in the piece in tune right away, it might not happen because they've they've actually sacrificed a lot of the general um, just work on being good musicians to work on that one thing. Um, and obviously I have examples of uh, my specific preparation overtaking my general playing. I really think my UCLA audition is a good example of um, People kind of going, wow, he's amazing when I'm not, I wasn't actually that good. Um, it's just that I had worked on that stuff so much that you would have assumed that I could play other things just as well, which is not true. I'm doing a lot of these gestures. I kind of like it. Rainbows. Um, and in the real world, specific preparation like that is not nearly as common. Um, general preparation, just being good at the instrument, being a good musician, all the things we talk about in the books and I'm talking about right now, those are so much more common than working on one thing just all the time. Um, even at the LA Phil, they get, let's see, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday rehearsals. Those are like three hours each, and then that's it. You get like maybe 10, 12 hours on an entire program, not one piece, but the entire program, which is two or three pieces. Um, and then they put on world-class concerts. Uh, they do like more time in concerts than they do in rehearsals. And they do that every time. And that includes new pieces, not just the, the old stuff that everybody knows, like the, the, you know, the standard symphonies and stuff. They do that for everything. So those people aren't going into that having you know, worked for months on just little sections of these pieces. Um, they're going in with a general knowledge of the repertoire, the style, how to play their instrument, how to play with other people, and then they can play stuff. So, honestly, I think general preparation is what is going to carry you farther. Um, specific is what's going to carry you from here to like winning competitions, doing really, really well, uh, winning auditions, that kind of stuff. Um, get better at your instruments and get better at the music you're playing. See you guys next time.